What's up, everybody? I'm back. Yes, yes, I'm back. I know y'all been wondering where, I'm, where I've been. I will let y'all know on their video. Not this one. We're going to talk about love and hip hop, though. So, we have Sierra meeting up, well, more or less Cardi meeting up with uh, Sierra <clears throat> to kind of rehash what happened on last week's episode. And Kari Red's whole thing is how is it that I'm in the middle of everybody's, you know, relationship drama? Because you fucking insert yourself because she even said that she heard this from, I think it was um, Jocelyn's friend. I can't think of her name right now. So this is forcing her to come in like, a, like and we all know Cardi does not have a storyline, but she makes her storyline off of everybody else's storyline. Can't be mad at her. But Sierra says that she kicked his ass out the house and fire Mariah. I really don't care. Moving forward. Hold on. So Waka meets up with uh, Charlie, which is uh, Tammy's door. Long story short, he wants for her to put a bug in her mom's ear. Just continue to bring him up to kind of help bring him back into the picture. Again, don't care about that shit either. Now we have Tommy. So Tommy is making her own Chardonnay. She invites over KK. Now KK whole thing is <clears throat> pretty much she gave a good analogy. A crackhead cannot sit here and make and sell crack when they're already on the shit. So she was saying to her that she needs to get a little bit of help. That struck a nerve with Tommy. And you know it is what it is. And she even said you know what maybe Tommy wasn't ready to hear it. But one thing that I've always said is when it comes to um, whatever it is, it's not always what you say, it's the delivery. But at the same exact time, even though your delivery might be great, you know, if that person is, in, is not in the place to receive it, it's gonna fall on deaf ears. But I applaud her putting forth the effort to try to, you know, talk to Tommy about the situation. Tommy even says that she's gonna have a, um, what is it, a wine tasting and her mother isn't invited, but, <clears throat> KK says to her that you only get one mother, she only gets one Tommy, you're in a position to make it work. And although that is so right, if y'all been rocking with me, y'all know about my relationship with my deceased father and how that all played out. And it's one of those where, you know, I I mean, it's one of, I say this, I agree with that statement and that sentiment, but at the same exact time, I'm not, I don't believe in lopsidedness. I can only sit here and reach out so much before I say, you know what, it's your turn. I'm tired of going the whole fucking way, damn it, meet me halfway. But again, that's just me. I'm jaded. It is what the fuck it is. <laughs> All right, so we got Deb and uh, Deb, Adney, and Walker. I love me some Deb. I do. But for whatever reason, I felt like she was trying to give me, you know, that grown woman, uh, Queen Latifah. Absolutely no shade. I'm super fucking serious. It's just like when I saw her, I'm just like... Trying to embody, in the, you know, the queen, okay? It's all good in the hood, okay? But, long story short, she pretty much told him, like, look, man, you make this shit right, like, this is, like, what, the second, third time you've done this shit? You're just like, bro, it's you. And I love her, make it work, because I don't want you bringing nobody else to me. You got Stevie and Jocelyn, so, he had already um, filed a countersuit before they made nice, went in, Jocelyn said that he could have told, you know, the uh, judge, like, hey, that was before this, throw it out, which she's definitely right. He could have, should have, but he didn't. And his list of demands was that he gets sole custody of their daughter. In addition to that, she needs to be drug tested, which that's one of those which is like, uh, bruh, you didn't last season fill the motherfucking drug test, bruh. Just not here nor there. So she not feeling it and now she has to do whatever she can to protect her a little bit about her daughter from you know old boys so we'll see how this goes okay so jock has this uh performance uh and i guess the song is called moving and grooving you have a uh, dime and tommy there so they get done well he gets done and dime feels that Cardi should know about Jock and Tommy. Jock whole thing is he ain't in a relationship with Cardi, so she doing her thing, he doing his thing. You know, 
long story short, mind your damn business, which I don't see why. Jessica Diamond's pushing so hard, you know what I'm saying? Cause she is a friend of the cast, not truly, or maybe she is a cast, but I don't fucking know. But trying to dig up a storyline with what she can is what it is. Jock brings up the beef between Treasure and Tommy. It ain't going no fucking where. That's it. And I forgot to write that. Okay, I remember. So Sierra meets up with Mariah. And Sierra whole thing is it took me a couple of days, you know, before I could face you. And she was like, well, tell me what happened. Mariah began to explain that one fateful night of how everything started. And rather than, you know, um, Sierra getting all the juicy information out here. Now, we all know this shit is faked in the motherfucker. But, 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 if he has money and you want a divorce, let her sit here and divulge everything the fuck on camera. So why you have this to in court if it was real? But she doesn't let her finish this. You have the body of a 13-year-old. They get to going back and forth. And, hey, I mean, she semi-sucker punched her last episode. But rather than, you know, trying to get across that table and get at her, you know, because, you know, again, Monice knows how to do it. She taught y'all how to do it, but she throws a purse. Shit gets broke up. She walks out. They're not really giving me much. I'm giving y'all what I can, okay? Alright, so let me go ahead and wrap this up. Hopefully I did not forget <clears throat> where the fuck I was at. So, drink gets thrown by Tammy. Chaos fucking ensues. So, T Tommy is mad because it's like, okay, so why would you be here? <clears throat> she feels like uh, Dime is an informant. So, she pretty much tells her, you know what? Get the fuck out. So, she then throws a drink. I guess for Tommy, it's better that she throw a drink than she throw her hands. So Diamonds is scored out. <clears throat> they kind of calm everything back down. Mimi brings up like she didn't know that she was going to open up Pandora's box. But she doesn't know the situation. She's actually cool with the both of them. And she even brings up that Melissa was the one that kind of brought Dime and Jocelyn back together. Now Mimi feels some kind of way about that. Now Mimi is trying to do what Carly Red does <clears throat> and use other people for a storyline. She hasn't quite fucking mastered it. So... For some reason, I guess she's going to have an issue with Melissa coming up. We shall see. We shall fucking see. And it pretty much ends with Tommy's mother walking in. So that's it. <clears throat> I'm going to try to give you guys basketball wives. I'm going to try. I'm going to fucking try. But that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys for the next video. Peace. Alright, so. <clears throat> Tammy meets uh well, goes and asks her daughter what happened on her date with Waka. They pretty much talk it out. And, of course, Charlie is um, defending Waka, of course. And <clears throat> Tammy is iffy about it. Now, Tammy did say something <clears throat> that means a lot. And it's one of those where trying to instill within her a woman's worth, how it, she should be treated by a man and y'all correct me if I'm wrong because I don't follow either one on social media but I think they're back together <clears throat> which you fight for your love but you also have to remember indirectly what you are teaching your children because not always do children go off what you say they go off what you do <clears throat> so that's just one of those where she might indirectly be saying to her daughter where if somebody does you wrong you know just if they cheat on you bring them back i kind of disagree <clears throat> with that like my only caveat to that is years of marriage where y'all have invested so much maybe give another chance but i'm the motherfucker where if i give you a second chance you best not fucked it up because we're not doing number three stevie and jocelyn 9.9 .9. He's the father, which I think for the most part, it was known again. I don't follow them on social media, but I do, you know, uh, a uh, trending topics video uh, used to. I have to get back into it, but it was put out that they were. And pretty much Jocelyn's whole thing is um, she doesn't want him in the daughter's life. All she wants is for him to pay and that's it. <clears throat> of course, <clears throat> that's going to have to be fought in court. 
and I don't necessarily agree with that. Like, unless he has a track record of being abusive, whether it be physically, emotionally, whatever, to his other children, and she has a justifiable reason. But even still, even if she does that, where you know she doesn't want him to see the baby. I just hope that she understands how that can affect her relationship with her daughter in the long run if that actually happens. Because your child might end up resenting you even if you're trying to protect them from something. So this is one of those where it's a sticky situation. And even she said, oh, well, now I'm stuck with him forever. I don't know what to tell her. <laughs> All right. So it is... uh. Tommy's uh, wine tasting and you know Rashida shows up to you know kind of get her mind off some shit alright KK comes in lets um, Tommy talk to Scrab so he says you know he's proud of her this that and third now the girls start to congratulate her it starts to bring Tommy to tears and I didn't mention it earlier but you know from Tommy's own admission she um doesn't really have anything going for her for her per se i mean she has to show but i guess no other um <clears throat> legit form of income so hey she's trying to you know make a way out of no way you know turn negative into a positive so you know it kind of brings her to tears and this is her trying to better herself so dime i think either it was Dime. i forget i think it might have been lovely me me that mentioned that she that uh the last time she saw Don was at um Jocelyn's photo shoot well video uh shoot and then Don starts to talk about <clears throat> Jocelyn how she changed and I think Tommy tried to change subject or something along those lines again I didn't really catch it and <clears throat> Don got upset and rather than just continue on with her story you know she's being very very like ice cold and blatantly fucking obvious about it and Tommy's just like not Tammy's just like well damn and then pretty much you know um Dom is like hey you know calm that shit down then we find out that <clears throat> Dom is still mad about some IGDM beef about uh Tammy I guess saying something about uh women over 35 shouldn't be wearing colored wigs since that and third for whatever reason that struck a nerve with Dom I don't know if it was a legit nerve or her just needing something to be mad about. <clears throat> now, Tommy, Tammy's whole thing is the only reason that she tried to change the subject is because she knows that Tommy don't fuck with Jocelyn in no way, shape, or form. So why bring up this individual at this event? So Tammy throws a drink, <laughs> like literally swing back to throw a drink and fuck his back on. I'll be right back.